about? What was the surah initially about? Come on, people, don't go to sleep on me. What was it about? Praying at night time, right? So he says, Inna rabbaka ya'lamu annaka taqumu adna min thulutayi layli wa nisfahu wa thulutahu wa ta'ifatum min al-ladhina ma'ak. Allah says, the fact is that your Lord, he knows that you all are standing in the latter part. Adna min thulutayi, less than. From the word dunya, dana, right? It's the low thing. You're standing up less than a third of the night, and half of it, and a third of it, and some of the Muslims, and some of the Muslims, some of the Sahaba, are standing up also at night time, praying this night time, okay, praying at night time, this, this type of, of standing, everybody with me? Then he says, Wallahu yuqaddiru layla wa nahar. And Allah is the one who lengthens and shortens the, the night and the day. You understand where I'm coming from? He's the one who knows. Who qadr, he has power over the night and the day. Alima allan tuhsuhu fataba alaykum. He said, he knows that you will never, len, is for never, ever tuhsuhu, be able to, to, to count it. You won't be able to know. We can't even know after all this time when it exactly starts and when it exactly ends. You understand? Because the fudge of time, it starts looking like this. You don't even know the exact moment that it comes in. We pick a time, but there's so much ikhtilaf around that. It's just that most of the average person doesn't know. So, so, fatab alaykum. So he, he turned back to you and allowed, your, allowed us, alaykum, upon you all, to, he forgave us. This is what that tab, he turned back to you all, gave you an easier way out, gave everybody an easier way. So he says, fa, and this is sabab, and this is right here. And so answering this sabab, this reason right here, he says, faqra'u ma tayassara min al-Qur'an. He says, so, in, and because of that, since he knows that you'll never be able to actually count out how long the night is, he says, then read ma tayassara min al-Qur'an. Then read what's easy, tayassara, yassiru. Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, yassiru wa la tunaffiru, bashiru wa la tu'assiru. He said, no, yassiru wa la tu'assiru, bashiru wa la tunaffiru. He said, make things easy, don't make things difficult. Be inclusive and don't push people away. Don't rush people away. So Allah says, what, ma tayassara min al-Qur'an. He says, read what is easy for you from the Qur'an. That's why we start off, I said, sit down and pray. Don't just stand up. If you have to just sit down, start sitting down. Then you'll get up, but make it. One of the things the Prophet ﷺ said, he said, no one gets shadid in their deen except that it kills them. You know, meaning it takes over. They do so much, so much, so then they don't do nothing. But if you do what's easy, the Prophet Sallallahu said, the best of your deeds, khayru a'malakum adwamuha wa inqal. The best of your deeds are what? The ones done more consistently, even if it's just a little bit. Even if it's just a little bit. Okay? So just do what's ma tayassara min al-Qur'an. Read what's easy. Alima an sayakunu minkum marda. He says, he knows that some of y'all gonna be sick. Some people are sick. Right? And, and, and not feeling sick, not feeling so good. And he said, and other people are traveling in the earth, searching, yeah, but they're going to hoping for design, the benefit of Allah, the favor of Allah, meaning they're going out working. It doesn't mean that somebody like myself, I'm from New York, so I'm living in New York and I'm going out to go to work. It, do, it, do, it includes that, but it's not limited to that. It means what you have here in America. People leave their homeland and they go someplace far, far away and live in another land searching for risk in the earth. These people are under mashaka, as you know, because their families are over there. They miss their homeland. They don't even get the food they want. Maybe in New York you get it better than other places, but you're still away from home. And this gives a person a type of homesickness, even if they've been in that country 100 years, 10 years. Right or wrong? I think everybody can understand that, right? So I see some people going, yes. <laughs> so, so this person, he's also, he's got this type of thing on his mind. So, and he's, he's only here because he got to get money. And he's got to go to Western Union. He's got to account with Western Union. He's sending so much money home. You know? So this person also, it's lightened up for him. 
وَآخَرُونَ يُقَاتِلُونَ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ وَنَسَلُ اللَّهَ أَنَّ جَعَلْنَا مِنْهُمْ And there are other people that are out there fighting في سبيل الله The Mujahideen and we ask Allah to make us amongst them. Ameen. You know? So he says, فَقْرَأُوا And because of that, فَقْرَأُوا مَا تَيَسَّرُوا مِنْهُمْ He says, in order, because of that, then read what's easy for you from the Qur'an. Read what's easy. Don't make it, don't stand up. Sometimes I recite in the Quran, I recite very, very small surah. Sometimes if I think everybody's motivated, we might do some longer. Especially at night time, I try to keep it short because we have the class. People want to come, they want to make salat in the masjid and go home. If we keep them too long, they never want to come back to the masjid. And we have the hadith of the man, Mu'ad ibn Jabal, who led the salah in the time of the prophet. And he led with a long salah. So the desert Arab got up and he left the salah, prayed by himself. And he said, what kind of munafiq is this? He's going to lead the salah after praying in, in, in the fard ishaf salah. So they called, the prophet called him and said, why would you do that? Which teaches us a principle, tafsir qabla tankir. Find out the reason before you make ugliness of it. Before you say that's a bad thing, find out why. Ma hamalaka ala dalik. So the Prophet ﷺ, he didn't judge the man. He asked him, why did you do that? Why did you leave the salah, the fard salah, after, you know, you know it's fard? He said, this guy Mu'ad, he takes a long time in the masjid. I got things I got to do. Likewise, you come in here, you driving the cab, you up the business, you doing this, you working all day. You come to the masjid, Abu Talib will keep you all day. No, you don't want to come to the masjid. You want to pray your salah and leave. Ya juzu dhalik. That is lawful if the person is taking a... So he got to pray something that's easy. When it's time for the salah, so, so, uh, you know, for the time for the salah like that. So the Prophet, his face got mad, red. He turned to Mu'ad, a fitan ya Mu'ad, a fitan, are you a fitna maker Mu'ad? Are you a fitna maker? He says he's getting angry at Mu'ad. This is in the Fard Salah to make it easy on the people. You don't make it difficult on the people. And you don't make it difficult on yourself. Allah says, فَقْرَأُوا مَا تَيَسَّرُوا مِنْ Make it easier. Sometimes brother go home, he want to pray with his family, he's going to pray with Baqarah. The sister don't want to pray with him. He's mad at the sister. You don't want to pray with me, sister? Yeah. She don't want to pray with you because you're taking a long time. She got to take care of the children and feed you and do all that other stuff. So, then Allah says, here at this point, you have a change here. وَأَقِيمُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَآتُوا الزَّكَاةَ وَأَقْرِضُوا اللَّهَ قَرْضًا حَسَنًا he says, وَأَقِيمُ الصَّلَاةِ When it says, أَقِيمُ الصَّلَاةِ This shows here that this is the Fard Salah, not, the, not this other Salah. Whenever you see أَقِيمُ الصَّلَاةِ This is an order to establish the Salah. And it's the Furud, the Fard Salah. وَآتُ الزَّكَاةِ And to pay the Zakah. This is the right. وَأَقْرِضُ اللَّهَ قَرْضًا حَسَنًا And when you pay the Zakah, it says if you're giving Allah a, a, a good loan. This is what a qard al hasana, you know? So it says, وَمَا تُقَدِّمُ لِأَنفُسِكُمْ مِنْ خَيْرٍ تَجِدُوهُ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ And whatever you do, whatever good do deeds that you do, and you put forward for yourself, this is for yourself. Whatever you do, you're getting the benefit of it, either here or in the hereafter, or both. You know, you're going to find it. You're not going to, you know, la yudayru Allah. Allah is not going to, you know, yudayru Allah, ajr al-mu'mineen, muhsineen. He is not going to make the person who does a good deed lose the barakah of that good deed. You might have done a good thing and you see the people mess it up and turn it around and you say, oh man, I messed up, I messed up the bad. No, you're going to get it. You're going to get it on yawm al-qiyamah, inshallah ta'ala, or even in this, this world, or both. So Allah says, tajiduhu inda Allah. He is the best one, and he is the one, the greatest one in, in giving the reward, the greatest reward, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And here is an order. Istaghfirullah. Istaghfirullah. Then Allah says, and seek the forgiveness, the ghafr of Allah. Okay? And you know, and then we know in the morning in in fi ashari hum yastaghfirun, wa fi ashari hum yastaghfirun. And the people in the early morning, they're making the istighfar, okay, in the suhoor time. So Allah says, wa istaghfirullah, inna Allah ghafurur rahim. In the fact, the matter is that Allah, He is al ghafur, He is al rahim, where He is a forgiving and and merciful one, أقول قول هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم والسلام عليكم أقيم الصلاة.